There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. No, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Look, that night, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. Well, I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe for either of us. Who are they questioning? Do they know about me? I don't think so. But why would they have any reason to? Anyway, he'll never show up again to tell them. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. What if they find his knife? I threw it away, and there was blood on it. Oh, oh no. You do not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble, and I'll, I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other, or it's both our heads. What were you even doing there that night? I once told you, there are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? You mean someone... Mira? My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. At least you're trying to keep it secret. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about 
this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... he offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. Don't worry, Tell. I'll deal with them. Hurry. I'll check on Mother. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> Who's behind this? Come out and face me! <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. 
all of you. Show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands! I have every right! We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North! So I will be in your halls! I will be in your courtyard! I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please! You can't do this, little bastard! You can't just do whatever- we do what we were sent here to do! You're mad, Griff! This is my house, and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't let them do this! You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Griff Whitehill, a snot-nosed fourth-born, parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if he drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Like he's the cock and we're in his roost. Whether he rides out on horseback or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forget. 
forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come. But it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. I understand your hesitation. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows, for now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. <laughs> 